In this video, I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot a 26 inch Troy built snowblower that will not start. And yes, the chute is missing. Customer had to take it off to get it in the back of his vehicle. But he was saying it was just running and then it died and wouldn't start again. So we're gonna troubleshoot what's going on. Before I jump into this video, I hope you consider subscribing. Uh, give the video a like and leave any comments down below. Check for gas, definitely has gas. Check the oil level, oil looks really good. Let's just try to start it. We use the electric start. Let's see. This one, the choke is down here a little bit. So we want it on choke on the turtle. The key is in, we're gonna prime it. Then we'll try to start it. All right, we're gonna check for spark. So you just remove the spark plug boot. Remove the spark plug. That spark plug looks fairly new. I think you maybe try replacing that. Now we just hold the spark plug against the valve cover and then we're gonna just turn it over. So make sure it's in the run position and see if we got spark. We have no spark. All right, well. Possibly that spark plug is foul. My gut says it's not. But we will put a new spark plug in and see what happens. No spark. All right, so we possibly have a bad coil, which is back over here um, behind the pole starter. Or, you know, do we have a failure in the, the key mechanism in this on-off switch? Uh, you know, if something is being grounded when it should not, it's not going to fire. So we're gonna rem take out the key in this switch here as possible causes and see if we can get spark. So I gotta be able to get to some wires and things in here. So that's why we're gonna remove this, this heat shield. All right, it looks like the key is hooked up. It doesn't look like they're touching. But we're going to remove this as a possible issue. So we're just going to disconnect the two wires. Hang them out here. Um, still in a run position. And we're going to try to start it again. See if we have spark. No spark. All right, the other spot that turns this off, you'll see right here, when I push it forward all the way that way, it is hitting that piece of metal right there. So this is the other piece that will kill it. So when this lever grounds it out, no spark. So that's not touching that. So I'm thinking we have an ignition coil issue. All right, so to get to the ignition coil, you gotta take a lot off. But that's okay. That's what it takes to get to it. So you gotta remove the plug for the starter. Because this 
piece of plastic has eventually got to come up and over and around here. You got to remove the knob for the choke. You got to move the throttle plastic piece here. You got to remove the two bolts that hold the carburetor on. going to sit right here next we got to remove the the cover for the pull cord All right, next we gotta remove these bolts holding the shroud on. One up there, there's one down here. One down here. Okay, well to get to the gas tank bolts, you gotta remove a bunch of stuff. So we gotta remove the cover for the belt. Remove these two bolts. Because we're trying to get this arm out of the way. I got this tilted out of the way now. the bolt back here. All right, so I just set the gas tank to the side and here's that bolt we were trying to get after. And we got this shroud right here too, that's gonna have to get unhooked. And now this shroud will come off. And here's the other wire right here, this little white connector. This goes up to the kill for this. So we can disconnect that. Now, no safety mechanism are, are in place. The key's not hooked up. That's not hooked up. So we should be able to have it in the any position. It doesn't matter because we're not grounding anymore. We do the same test, cut them off camera a little bit, but I'm holding the spark plug to the valve cover and pushing the start button. And I still have no spark. So that confirms that this ignition coil is bad. All you need to do next is to remove these two bolts holding it on. And then this will come out. 
And all your wires are attached up here, so you have to feed everything through. So you got spark plug hooked up to it. Well, spark plug's no longer hooked up. You got your wire that goes to the key that you got to pull through. And then it helps just pull the carburetor out a little bit and just feed this stuff through. And that is an ignition coil. All right, let's go order a new one. All right, so you just get these bolts not tight. You want them loose. Because you got to set the spacing. So I just use a business card. Slide it in there. Get it kind of snug against it and then tighten them. And then pull it out of there. Might be a little tight. All right, so that gives you your spacing. You gotta rot your wires up and through here. There's a little plastic piece that runs on the, the back right here that this all fits in. And yeah, it's brand new wires and they may or may not want to stay in there. Just work them in. All right, now that we got it somewhat together, I want to test it out, make sure we got spark. So we'll remove the spark plug. And then just like, there's a, you know, I gotta have it in the run position because I hooked this wire up. Um, I didn't hook the key up yet, so it doesn't matter if the key is in or out. But we're gonna take the spark plug and hold it against the valve cover. And then we're just gonna manually spin it with the socket on a drill here. And we're gonna see if we got spark. And we have spark. All right, I got it back together enough to see if it'll start. Not gonna worry about choking it. We're just gonna prime it, see what happens. 